Our top story this evening, U.S. President Donald Trump signed a bill to temporarily reopen the federal government for three weeks, ending the longest ever partial shutdown in U.S. history. But the issue surrounding the border wall is not over yet, and U.S. lawmakers will continue discussions over border security on Capitol Hill. Cha sang starts us off. The longest government shutdown in U.S. history has finally come to an end, at least for the time being. President Trump agreed to reopen the federal government Friday local time, backing down after a 35-day stalemate, which did not get him the billions of dollars needed to build a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. Saying he has a very powerful alternative that he is not going to use at the current time, Trump warned that another shutdown or even a national emergency could be in store if Congress does not agree to fund the border wall. We really have no choice but to build a powerful wall or steel barrier. If we don't get a fair deal from Congress, the government will either shut down on February 15th again, or I will use the powers afforded to me under the laws and the Constitution of the United States to address this emergency. Following his remarks, U.S. Congress passed a short-term spending legislation to fund the government and allow federal workers to return to work until February 15th. The shutdown first began after Trump had demanded 5.7 billion U.S. dollars to build a border wall amid congressional disputes over the issue of border security. Over the next 21 days, I expect that both Democrats and Republicans will operate in good faith. Lawmakers will negotiate border security funding during the three-week window. And while nothing is clear, both parties express optimism that a deal could be struck. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi also told reporters she was optimistic and said she sees every challenge or every crisis as an opportunity to do the right thing for the American people. Some 800,000 federal employees will now get back to work and receive their wages starting next week. Questions have also been raised about Trump's postponed State of the Union speech now that the government is reopening, but no firm date has been scheduled yet. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.